What's up guys, it's Shannon and today we are in Slayan going to check out Vasari's showroom, right? Because I guess a lot of you guys that have uh, invested in some properties and you don't have enough budget to do the whole makeover, a trick that I always use is to just uh, enhance certain walls in the unit itself so it can be done pretty quickly and it will change dramatically how the unit will look on picture and that will increase the rental tremendously. Well, increase the attractiveness I would say, right? So today we're going to go check out with Jack again. We have a podcast before, right? We're gonna just link it up if you have not seen that one, but right after the video. Okay, so let's go. First showroom mm. is entirely Versari on it. Mm. So there's not even like one single wall that is paint. So it's a paint free area. Mm. We call this like a Venetian plaster area. Oh. So everything you see here is all plastered with Versari wall finishes. Mm. And Versari wall finishes, we, we have, of course have like different texture. Mm. We have basically, now we have five really. Last time we only have like three different products, three different series. Mm. But over the years, we added more and more already. So now we have five. Yeah, so for Versari, it's very simple. It's all natural. Mm. Uh, we have Venetian plaster. We also have lime paint. Mm. So broad category is these two types. Okay. Venetian plaster, basically, let, let me show you. When we say plaster, right, the application method is different. So when you say plaster, we use trowel to apply on the wall. Mm. Uh, because plaster, if you compare to paint, is much thicker. It, it's a paste form. And when we say lime paint, lime paint is a new product of Versari. It's a paint already. Uh, so when paint, of course, most people will know lah. Mm. Paint is using brush okay. or sponge. You can also use sponge to create more effects. It's easier to apply. It's more DIY friendly. It's more towards the paint kind of texture. Mm. But there's also like subtle movement. Later, I'll show you the example of Okay, like so these are for sale for people? To yep. Well, most of the customers who buy all this, they are usually applicators, la, oh. renovators and so on. Okay, okay. Of course, like homeowners who DIY, uh -huh. uh, we will recommend the most simple one. Of course, like, you know, for example, you can even go up to, you know, something that have like gold plated, you know, oh. all this very chunky already. <laughs> That's the quality of the applicant. Yeah. yeah. But for homeowners, usually they will use the most basic one. Mm. For example, this is like a very basic one. The basic travel, stainless steel, mm. you have polished okay. rounded edges. So when you go outside to buy travel, usually you don't get this kind of quality. Mm. Uh, and we will recommend to use this kind of quality because <laughs> If you use like a uh, non stainless steel one, it will get rust, rusty. Oh. The rust will, you know, affect the wall. Okay. And then the sharp edges, usually outside is very sharp on the mm. edge. You create like scratches on the wall, oh. all this. Uh. So, so the usual one is people use plaster, uh, right? Ah, yeah. So before the final layer, uh, so Correct. this is the one where. Yeah, this is for texture finish. Uh. Mm. Those are usually for wet work, for, okay. you know, cement plastering okay. and so on. Yeah, that's yeah, right, very that's familiar right. with that, yeah. So everything starts with a, you know, a good tool uh, foundation, a tools, yeah. A good tool will give you a good wall. Mm, yeah. Cool. So these are our tools mm. and if you see the showroom, uh, this is all Venetian plaster. Mm. Most of it, the ceiling, this wall. Yeah, even uh, the one in the toilet, right? Yeah, everything in, in this showroom is Venetian plaster. Mm. And then mostly it's smooth uh, surface, like for example this, all this is Veneziano. Mm. which is our most popular mm. because it's smooth, uh, it's, it's very nice to touch and then it's very luxurious, yep. uh, beautiful of course. Mm. Yeah, so, and it is available in many different colors. Okay. We have like actually 70 colors to choose from. It's a lot. But at the end of the day, it is down to, you know, neutral colors mm. are the most popular. Yep. Like, uh, you know, off-white, gray, beige, mm. all these neutral colors, they are very popular. And neutral colors you can actually use to apply in bigger areas. Yep. Yeah, so... Or oh, just going there, like some, <laughs> some certain colors that like, mm. in a tile form like this, it mm. looks nice. But when mm. you blow up into a yeah. wall form, then it's very different. Exactly. Then, then how do you advise customers about that? Yeah, so for example, uh, neutral colors you can use for larger areas, mm. a more common area. But when you want to do like a feature, feature can be more outstanding, uh, more striking. Mm. Uh, you can actually use colors that is you know more more more, more darker la, more striking yeah, yeah, yeah. but most importantly also i mean the, the colors should match to the feeling 
of the room. Yeah, of the room that you want. You know what kind of a feeling and mood you want that room to be. If you want the room to be calming, right, or relaxing, mm. usually neutral colors or, for example, blue, green. You know these kind of colors will yeah. give you a more calmer kind of feeling. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You put a burning red in your bedroom. Right? <laughs> so yeah, yeah. I mean, burning red will actually give you an energetic kind of vibe, lah. Yeah, so, so like some hotels then make sense, right? Because yeah. it's temporary. Correct. Then if it's uh, for a own stay unit, you are there forever, mm. then it's not as advisable. That's actually a very good point. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so firstly, uh, we will ask them mm. which area do you want to make it you know, more, more beautiful, right? Yeah. They will usually tell us, ah, I'm thinking uh, about my living room, uh, now it's too, too bland already. Mm. Uh, I want to make it more exciting. Mm. So then they will ask us uh, which wall in the living room yeah. do we advise them to actually yeah. you know, apply mm -hmm. the sari. Mm -hmm. So usually, for example, a living room, it will be the, the TV, TV wall, wall. The wall. longest facade wall. Yeah, yeah. TV facade, wall, yeah. yeah. Okay. That will be a, a good choice or opposite TV wall. Mm. And then after that, once we confirm which wall, we will then come to the colors. Yep. Yeah. So do you colors. usually tell people to get colors sort out first, the wall colors first, mm. then only furnitures or vice? Actually, of course, it will be the best if you already know like what kind of furnitures you are looking for. Mm. Yeah, so if you are looking for, you know, a grey sofa and so on, of mm. course, then it will be easier to, to match uh, the wall. Mm. But for me, of course, there are a lot of signs to like color choosing, right? Yep. But for me, at the end of the day, is what kind of feeling you want to get for that room. Particular space. Like. Yeah, the walls cover a huge area of the space, right? So definitely wall will dictate the mood of that mm. room already. Mm -hmm. So if you want to go for modern, very clean and so on, definitely you can filter out many other colors already. Yep. So for me, the first step is really what kind of vibe you want, vibe you want. in the yeah. space first. Yeah, because and that matches with intent. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So does cost matter when it comes to color? Okay, so mm. most of our colors, they are actually the same price. Mm. But we also have premium colors. Okay. So if you look at our Color chart. buying cars, eh? <laughs> <laughs> You're right. So, uh, let me show you the color card. So, we have like this color card, right? We make this color card actually also to help people look at all the colors at one glance. Mm. Yeah, so, it's a macro kind of view. Yeah, of course, this color won't be a 100% representation, mm. but it will be a good guidance. So, for example, if you see here, we have like a star color. Yeah. This color is a uh, Premium color. Mm. Why premium color is because this color is darker, okay, and it's more expensive to produce. Oh, yeah, more color palette. Is that right? Exactly. Okay. Yeah, that's right. So premium colors will actually be more expensive than normal color by mm. fifty cents per square feet. So usually our price starts from eleven ringgit. Yep. So if you choose premium color, it will be eleven ringgit and fifty yeah, cents. Five yeah. three to five percent. Yeah, that's right. That's right. But premium color only take up about ten mm. colors of the 70 colors, most colors are actually the same price. So this is all our color palettes, uh, can be quite uh, a lot. Yeah. <laughs> you see the main problem, right, when mm. a lot of people speak to designer, I want grey. All oh, grey, like, hello. <laughs> How to pick? Oh, this grey is not grey enough, like. yeah. this grey is not white enough. Like. So I guess this is very important to come and see yourself if it's an own stay unit. Like. Because like color tone also, there will be like, for example, you know, it's very spot on. Yeah, mm. always very spot on. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. Like grey, there are so many kinds of grey. So mm. we also can segregate into like two broad categories. Yep. Like, like uh, cold grey uh. or warm grey. So that's usually how, how we do it. You want a cooler kind of white or you want cozy kind of white. Yeah. So yeah. So if you want cozy then usually they can go for like warmer grey. Yeah. Cool man. The whole purpose of coming into the show you need, right? I think for me personally. It's when you pick colors from this color chart that we mentioned just now. There will be certain variation. One will be the smoothness of the wall. Mm -hmm. The second thing will be the lighting in your unit. Then the size of the color will also determine. Yeah. Like if this is blow up in 100 times the size of your living room, then it will also change. So I think what's cool if you visit the show unit, you will have bigger tiles. If that's not enough, then you have bigger ones. Then if you are not enough, you have bigger ones, right? Then if it's still not enough, then you also have the entire panel. Ultimately, it's just to bridge the expectation, right? That's right, that's right. Yeah, mm. actually, it's a good idea to come to showroom yeah. so that you can visualize better. Uh, when you have a big wall, 
of, of a sari at, mm. in your house. Yep. Yeah. So really, it's actually to bridge the, the, the imagination gap, la, I would say. Yep, yep. Yeah. So like the cost that we mentioned is like 11 ringgit per square feet as today. Like we don't know whether we've got price revision or not in the future. We talk, spoke about it, it's around 100 square feet. Uh, 150 square feet is the minimum square feet. Okay. Uh, but of course, mm. if anyone has less than 150 square feet, we mm. still can do. Okay. But the minimum charge will be at 150 100. square feet. Okay. Times 11 ringgit, uh. which is 1,650. Mm. So that's like the minimum spending. Yep, yep. Yeah, yeah. So the entire purpose of this is, let's say if you finish your shopping for furniture within the unit itself, then your unit still looks pale. There usually will be few points only that's lacking. One will be the temperature of the lights. The second thing will be the texture around the wall. A lot of people forget that the surface area of the wall is higher than the floor. Mm. So you got more areas to play with actually. So a thousand plus for a wall, you add like three thousand, right? One for your bedroom, one for your living room. On picture itself, it will stand out so much. Yeah. But then for paint, it's very easy that now we can buy several small tong one. Mm -hmm. I try first before I apply the whole thing. The challenge for this is that mm. I cannot try one, especially the texture. So, what are the common textures that you usually promote? So, common textures, the popular ones is, uh, for example, this one. Yeah, this one is Veneziano. So, Veneziano mm. is actually a smooth finish. So, when you touch, it feels uh, very smooth. Mm. Yeah, so this is actually one of our best sellers. Huh? Is it the one that Google use a lot? Uh, yeah, they also use this one. And mm. also the other one which is quite popular nowadays is mm. Lime Paint. Mm. Actually, Lime Paint, many other guys also use a lot nowadays. Okay. Yeah, because it's easier to apply. Mm. The price-wise is also much cheaper oh. for Lime Paint. And there is actually many ways of applying Lime Paint also to get the feel that you want. Okay. So for example, this piece here, what we did here is actually to make it more variation. So mm. we can see dark and light variation okay. here. Yeah, so if you want a feature wall with Lime Paint, that's also possible. Mm. But for the whole house, there are also people applying Lime Paint in the whole house. Because mm. with Lime Paint, you can also make it very subtle. Okay. And the price for Lime Paint is actually 7 ringgit 50 cents only. Mm. As compared to plaster. The main reasons are because plaster is, of mm. course, more labor intensive. More, yeah, exactly. More yeah. skillful. Yeah. Right? And then, of course, the coverage for Lime Paint, if you buy the same tong, uh, mm. uh, Lime Paint coverage is much higher. Okay. Yeah, because the material is, is not as thick as okay. plaster. Cool, cool. Mm. So, like, for you, I think your benefit is you work with a lot of ID designers. Mm -hmm. So what are like, like the latest trends that you see across? Um, actually nowadays, we, we do quite a lot of whole house line paint. Whole house? Yeah, uh? whole house line paint. Are we talking about apartments still? Apartment also, uh. any, any kind of house. Uh. Uh. Yeah, or a space uh, or okay. a whole, you know, living area space, they will apply line paint to the whole area. Because line paint is not too much. I mean, you can make it very subtle. And now this is also the trend in the Western countries where they make like you know the whole space very minimalist, mm. very clean. At the same time, it's not as flat as the normal, yeah, normal paint. paint. So line paint will actually give you more variation than the normal paint. Mm. Yeah, which is this one, right? Yeah, that's right. But this one, of course, we make it a little bit more dramatic for this oh, size. Right. Yeah, right that's size, right. right. That's right. Yeah. This is also <laughs> applicable to ceiling, right? You can also apply on ceiling. Uh, as long as uh, you have a flat surface. Uh. Mm. And then to highlight a few walls with, for example, plaster, mm. uh, that is also a common thing to do. Lah. So, then when do people actually use textures like this? Rough textures. Mm. Yeah, so it depends on also the design and the style that you want for your house. Nowadays, Mamo Reno and, for example, Stucco, also the coarser finishes yep. are getting more pop popular because people want that very industrial and very raw, raw very cool kind of look. Mm. So actually, like for example, well, of course the color is, is a bit off. Like, it's just, but if you choose this finish in a grey color, it, it, it will be more industrial, mm. it will be more raw yep, yep, yep. And, and so on. Yeah. So actually Marmo Reno is becoming more popular as well. Okay, so so it, it really depends what kind of what you want. So besides the colour, the texture, different like lime paint or the plaster, yeah there's a lot of things to think about although even you think like it's only a 150 square feet kind of thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so 
basically choose the color, mm. choose the texture, and this actually these are the yeah the main thing, and also the wall that you want to apply. Mm. So three three things I would say. Okay, yeah. Yeah. so people can just stop by the show unit here, then you can really just tour around. I think that also includes a lot of ID designers for commercial oh, spaces. Yeah, yeah, they also come to the showroom a lot mm. uh, because we have all the colors here, mm -hmm. and of course they already know what they want but they want to come here to see the actual color for themselves before they, they finally you know, make the decision. Yeah. Okay, so big question. If I apply halfway, mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> then I think like, hey, maybe Tiffany blue is not my thing. The baby blue makes more sense. Right, okay. How do okay. we remedy that? So we have to redo, la, for, for sure uh, we have uh, to redo. So when you apply halfway already, you, do, you don't like it, you have to cover it first uh, uh, and then apply the new colors. Uh, uh, yeah, you know, we, okay. we still can do it, just that we need, you know, more time to cover first. Uh, okay. We have to return the wall back to the original state, uh, white, white color or whatever. Uh, mm -hmm. and then we change the color. Yeah. Then these are all only applied indoor, right? Internally, yeah, right? Mostly indoor. And the rougher texture can be applied semi outdoor. So for example, if you have car porch, a semi-outdoor breakfast area, mm -hmm. uh, you can go for the rougher ones. Yeah, uh, those are okay for semi-outdoor. Then for, I think we spoke a little bit on the podcast, it's like, mm. let's say if my kid takes a crayon and draw on it, mm. I can actually just wipe it, right? Yes, so if there's any uh, stains or whatever, do attend to it quickly uh, uh, because the longer you leave that you know the, 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 absorb inside exactly yeah okay. so of course there's a better option if you want to protect the walls mm. if you for example like have kids at home and so on is to wax the wall mm. so venetian plaster or lime paint is uh, waxable okay yeah so when you add wax to it uh, we are using canuba wax which is also a natural kind of wax uh, when you wax it the wall will be protected Mm. So when you get the stains, it's, it's not so easy to actually eat into the, okay. the wall. So it's easier wipe purple. Yeah, but of course certain things, if you don't have wax, certain things that have very strong uh, organic colors, mm. it may stain the wall. For like, example, like, like beetroot, uh, uh, mango, yeah, yeah. <laughs> mango stain. Uh. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> because after all, lime plaster and uh, lime paint is breathable. Mm. So when it's breathable, it does not have has that you know natural protection there. Okay. Yeah, so it's actually considered porous because okay. you know the walls still yes. can breathe, right? Okay. Yeah. So cool. Thanks. So with Sari, we also have creative series. Mm. Creative series means something that we, we do differently using like different tools, mm. different more creative uh, kind of method to make it more interesting. Okay. So for example, like this in the middle is actually called lime wash creative mm. series. We use Marmorino, which is our product, and we combine with lime paint with water. We wash mm. the wall with lime paint. So that is why we call lime lime wash. Huh? Yeah. So you get the wash effect yep. here. Yep, 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 so yep. This, these are called creative series uh, because it's not really a new product but a new application method. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But this one very like, <laughs> is it like a one and only kind of thing? One and only. It will, it will never be the same one. Right. Actually all our walls uh, will never be the same even if it's the basic mm. uh, series because same seafood who go and do it also every wall like every day is, is different. <laughs> will there be like one extremely famous seafood that everybody wants? There is some seafood they give like different results. Yeah. Like some seafood is very good at making the wall very shiny. Some seafood is very good at making the wall more subtle. Mm. So we actually do also ask customer like for example do you prefer yeah. more subtle or more texture? Uh, we then will arrange accordingly like, actually. Wow. It's the artist like, <laughs> yeah. like, like, what kind of taste you like. Yeah that's right, that's right. I think that's a rule where the bigger the texture the less busy it must be right. Yeah yeah yeah. Right? Right. yeah. Imagine the whole house. Uh -huh, yeah. Yeah. It can be. So I think it's nice. This timber trimming also is very nice to yeah. imagine because this is going to be like your floor. Yeah, that's room. right. This is your and floor. if you notice this wall here and this wall here, it's actually a top wall. So we actually purposely leave that gap there to let mm. people see it, it was a top wall before. Okay. Uh, because our product we can apply directly on the top wall and it will become a new wall. So as you mentioned, I think in the kitchen side, right, the mm. whole kitchen Quite popular always nowadays. have a problem. Like you want to hack. Hacking is okay, but when you come across places with a lot of pipings, mm, yeah. very risky, right? So I think this is just scouting. Correct. And because it's also very, very thin. Yeah. So it won't eat up a lot of space in your kitchen, right? Yeah. Unless your kitchen is like 30 square feet, then. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right, cool.
So this is like uh, using a different tool to mm. make the strike effect. Oh, uh, this is so nice. Yeah. It's called creative series also. Mm. So does technique. creative series have more pricing to it? More cost? Oh, yeah, you're yeah, right. Uh, uh. So because there are more technique involved, yeah. so the price will be higher actually. Mm. So 11 ringgit is for the, the Base. basic product. Okay. Creative series, it depends on what kind of series. The price can range from, off my head, I think, 13 to 16 ringgit, something like that. Mm. And usually creative series is used for a feature wall. Yeah, yeah. So the feature wall gets like upgraded nowadays uh, because <laughs> yep. the basic product becomes non-feature. Non <laughs> non yeah, yeah, yeah. non-feature. Uh, yeah, sure. it, it pops though. We can also do like all this uh, uh, like stone effect, la, brick effect. La. Uh, actually, there are many. Brick effect? Yeah, brick effect. Also. Many ways of uh, doing it. La. Quite endless. La. The creativity is actually limitless. This is uh, like concrete stamping. Eh? Yeah. Oh no, actually, it's also. How we do it is actually we, we do the grooves. La. We use the taping. Ah. We use masking tape to tape all this first. Then you need to apply any tape, peel off the tape. Right. Wow, a yeah. lot more work. Eh? A lot more work. That's why the price is also higher. Okay. <laughs> okay, cool. So a lot of people like brick walls. A lot of people don't know, know that it takes up width. So then some of it use half a brick to do it. But then the workmanship is very dependent on the applicant. And this is also lime paint. Everything lime paint. So you see why lime paint can be applied in the whole house. Mm. Uh, this technique is using brush. So mm. that's why it's less textured, mm. but it will still have that very subtle green. Of I mean, I don't know how to say, but if you compare to normal paint, won't give you this kind of feeling, one. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's yeah. flat one. Uh. But this has a little bit of movement. Now this is is a trend already. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Lime paint again. I mean, it's mineral paint, so yeah. it's very healthy. Mm. Yeah. There is this. Is this one also? Ah, this is lime wash creative series. Just now, the blue one is also a lime wash but using different color. Yep. This lime wash is more dramatic because we are using a very colorful colors. This is very good for a feature wall of course. Uh, it depends on what kind of white again, like setting you want. Yep, yep, yep. This is very fun, very colorful, very inviting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so... My studio is going to have this. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm very happy la, every time people see you. <laughs> yes, it blends in. Right. But again, do always have certain consultation with the team on the dimension of your space. La. Some colors eats up a lot of space, right. and some colors enhances the feeling of the space. Good. So, so I think that's a very important thing to actually take note la, if you are going to really apply. Then only when you have a little bit more budget, put creative series. You have a little bit more budget, put up the whole house, put up the ceiling, put up the car porch, right? This is also a creative series also. We call modern Traventine. It has that Traventine veins. Mm. In white Traventine. Traventine means all these holes. Oh. So all these holes is actually created using a pressure tool. Mm. We stand the holes and then we flatten it. You get all these kind of grains. Mm. And after that is painted with a texture paint. So you see all these kind of veins is uh, Traventine. And, and this is a well done demonstration of how light adds dramatic effect to the wall. Without the light, you won't see the shadow on the different layers. Wow, and go all the way up. Over the years, I mean, like texture finishes also mm. becoming more and more, you know, chunky. <laughs> and this is such a good selfie wall. <laughs> <laughs> Every day, like, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> So nice. And here, this is also creative series. So uh, it's called a reverse rustic. Uh. When we finish it, we leave some areas empty. And the, I think the greens are also way finer compared mm. to the one before. This one is actually a rough green. Mm. And then, yeah, it's also like an incomplete look. We are now people pay so much money going. Back, <laughs> well, that's true, that's true. I think. <laughs> It becomes like that really. Last time we go for marble, granite, <laughs> right, yeah. stone, gao <laughs> gao, polish. And now, uh, oh, the more unfinished it is, the more better. What you can see downstairs, right, the creative series and all, is a result of what they did here. So this is where uh, we give uh, the trainings and, and uh, course. Uh, uh, mm. not, not just to applicators or renovators, also homeowners. 
homeowners who are interested in actually learning how the wall is uh, being applied mm. or to learn the technique or to DIY, we have classes every month which mm. is totally free. I think it's going to be a very cool weekend activities for husband and wife. Oh yeah, yeah, we also hosted like husband and wife, you know, that they really come and understand how it is being applied, you yeah. know. And so I think the, the wife will pick the colors, the husband will apply. Now. Usually it's that like that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and it's free. <clears throat> so when people register? Uh, so we have a specific date set already every month for customers, for applicators. So anyone who is interested can just uh, PM us on Facebook, Instagram or WhatsApp us. We will give you the date. So yeah. usually we post about 15 people each time. I think for mm. those who are also like trying to look for a job can also learn something like mm. this as a that's right, skills that's right. then that's they can also apply. That's right. We are also questions. looking for more applicators mm. who are interested in you know making textured walls and so on. Or we'll train you until you really can and do it and mm. you can go out to Chari Makan. Yeah. Yeah. So this is our aim also. Like, we really hope that more and more people will know how to do texture finishes yeah. it's very enterprising imagine if you learn this skill set then they will be the supplier i'll just take stock from you mm. and i'll just furnish for my very own customers yeah that's right you can you know get your own customers even <coughs> we will actually guarantee that you will have business wow. also because we have a lot of customers that's where we actually pass on mm. all the you know or the sites too. Yeah, 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 that's right. Uh, so after all, I mean, we, we, we can't do it alone. So it's really, you know, win-win situation. Now they win, we win. Yeah, yeah. And I realized that in your Instagram post, you have exchanged with Singapore and mm -hmm. overseas. Yeah, that's right. And I think that's a good thing. So ultimately, it's an international brand. And don't worry too much about the quality. The only variables are the texture mm. and the environment that the walls are applied to. Uh. But ultimately, the brand is for here. Yeah, that's right. I mean, Masari has been around for now, I think more than 20 years already. Originated from California, expanded to, to Asia, Malaysia, Philippines. Now, uh, there is like Masari Singapore, Cambodia, Vietnam. So we are still, you know, expanding to, mm. to, to more countries. That's great. So as a result for all the R&Ds, we get all the different textures that we saw just now, which is amazing. And then we just had a conversation like when we have abundance, bigger house, right? Then you would tend to want to have more feature spaces. And I think this is one of the hacks. Instead of getting like very complicated stuff, right? Just come stop by and you can see very interesting stuff. Just for inspiration at least. Cool. I guess that's all for this episode guys. Uh, shout out again to Jack from Basari for hosting us. Uh, answering to all of my questions. And this is just to provide a visual guide for you guys to actually try out the whole process of furnishing your home and this is going to be very helpful especially if you have a little bit more budget after furnishing your house entirely but you still need that a little bit kick so most of the time people just ignore the wall finishes like, and today we learned one of them we still got pain we still got a lot of other things to venture to and i guess this is the first one of the series and if you really like this episode like it share it and even subscribe for more information like this until next time this is sean tan Ciao.